Hey everybody, no idea what's going on. I will do my best to tag you all in, if it will let me. Sorry about this everybody. I don't know what's going on, Facebook keeps kicking me out. So if you let me know when, hi, Danielle, just wait for you all to get back in. Woohoo! I'm so sorry about this. It, it just even shut down access to my camera and my internet is fine. There's full bars, so I don't understand what's going on. Um, yeah, maybe they don't want people to have this information. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. So sorry, everybody. So I'll get started back again. Um, who was on here? So there was John Hope, there was Judy, um, Sybil Len, um, Judy. Okay. Is anybody else that was on here? Can you, um, can you tag them in if there's anybody on here who's on the live before? I'm so sorry, everybody. I have no idea what's going on. Obviously, um, technology can't always be trusted. So I was going into, I was talking about guided meditation. So with guided meditations, it's a similar principle. You want to be able to get your thoughts under control where they're not bombarding you, where you can't listen to the guided meditation. So my interpretation is we distract ourselves so much that when we, when we come to a place where we want to be quiet and silent, we can't. The mind goes, oh my God, I've got so much to tell you. I want you to listen and it just bombards you, okay? And if you are not spending time listening to the mind, then whenever you're silent or whenever you're looking to meditate, it becomes so uncomfortable that you avoid it. So you switch the TV on, you play with your phone, you're on Messenger, Facebook, playing games. So then we don't meditate. So we're making the situation worse. So my suggestion would be just start with five minutes. So when I see people one-on-one, -on -one, I say start with five minutes. It's going to be disturbing. It's going to be uncomfortable. But just sit there and observe and hear just hear what you're being reminded of because your thoughts and that noise is really, really helpful. Really helpful. If you've got noise going on that's saying you've got this to do, you've got that to do, then what's happened is, is you've programmed your mind to be busy. If you've programmed your mind to be busy, you'll never achieve what you want to achieve in life because you'll always make excuses. And there's actually an amazing book called... Um, Oh my God, I forgot the word. I always recommend it to all my clients. The Magic of Thinking Big. Magic of Thinking Big, there's chapter two, and it's called, <laughs> it's about excusositis. So if you've got that busyness running you, you're going to have excuses for everything. I don't have time. I can't do that. I don't. Da, 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 da. You'll make an excuse for everything that you don't have time because you've programmed your mind to be busy. So when you meditate, and you've got all this going on, you will then make an excuse that you can't meditate because you've got better things to do. So when you sit down and listen to the noise, you learn so much about yourself and where you're at. And when you know where you're at, you know where you can head. Because if you've got a map and someone hands you a map and says, where do you want to go? And you're like, oh, I'll go there. Well, where are you? I have no idea. How the hell are you going to get there if you don't even know where you are? You need to know where you are right now and then you need to get clear on where you're going, then you can start creating the life that you want. But if you have no idea where the hell you are, and you have no idea where you're going, you're just going to be spinning around and floating around and hoping that life takes you somewhere that you want to go. I can guarantee you it's not going to take you where you want to go if your mind is not programmed to take you somewhere. You're just going to be busy for the rest of your life, and one day you'll wake up and go, Where's my life gone? 
I promise you, my mum did the same thing. I watched my mum die and tell me, I regret not doing this, 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 and listed so many things. Because in her head, she was too busy to do them all. And it wasn't the truth, she had time. She just didn't know how to make time. So meditation is gonna free you from your shackles if you take the time. Be uncomfortable. A great, a great, 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 great mantra that I've heard is you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And it's the truth. You really do. In the beginning, it's challenging. It's difficult. In the middle, it's messy. But at the end, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And you speak to any client that's worked with me and they will tell you it's hard in the beginning, it's messy in the middle, but at the end, it's life changing. Anything worth pursuing is always a little bit messy and hard and difficult. And there's going to be resistance there. You're rewiring your brain. There's going to be resistance there because you set up protection mechanisms and now you're saying they don't work anymore. We need to create new ones. We need to reconstruct the mind. The mind's not going to go down easily. It's going to go, you sure? I'm just going to check that you're sure. And it's going to show to you your old patterns. And that's why meditation is key. It's key. I promise you, if you're not meditating, your journey of getting out of whatever you're experiencing, whatever pain that is for you, whatever suffering that is for you, what challenge you're facing, if you're not meditating, it's going to be a lot harder and a lot more difficult because you're flying blind. At least if you sit with the meditation and it's uncomfortable, you know exactly where you're at. You go, right, okay, I'm just going to turn the light on. It's got a bit dark now. You're going to be like, okay, wow, didn't realize that that was going on for me. I realized through meditation I had deep-seated self-worth issues, really deep-seated, really deep-seated. Um, in fact, it was, it used to, just to show you how far you can come if you start working on yourself, it used to have me in my nighty for five or six days and not showering self-worth that's it was paralyzing that's what it used to do for me when i was younger i used to drink an awful lot on my own in my apartment on my own when my life went to shit when i was 30. my mum had passed away my boyfriend who i'd moved to australia with um had left me for someone else but lied and said he didn't I was left with an apartment I couldn't afford didn't have a job because we had a business together and he took all my friends he had pretty much turned all my friends against me and I'm in this complete victim mentality going oh my god I'm so alone I've got no one I've got no friends I've got no job I can't afford my apartment and then I sat there I went, no one else can change this but me. So I have to stand up and own it and get a shower because I stink. <laughs> okay. I was smoking God knows how many cigarettes as well. I wasn't even really a smoker, but I smoked just to distract myself because I didn't want to hear the noise. I used to just concentrate on my breathing. So when I say that I've been in dark places, I've been in dark places. But I know that no matter what, you can get out of them, but you have to decide. And I'm here. If you want my help or need my help, I'm here for you. Okay? Because it's not easy doing it on your own. In fact, it's near on impossible doing it on your own. Okay? Don't be a martyr. Because that doesn't help either. Now, the other thing with meditation is you can actually meditate on a certain thing. So, for example, a few of my clients have gone through operations and I teach them how to meditate where they're actually channeling all of the energy that they completely can to heal their body. 
So say, for example, um, I've got a client at the moment who's just had an operation on her leg and she's completely and utterly just meditating and imagining that her leg is healing. And what this is doing is the mind is instructing the body to take the healing, all of the healing, all of the energy and focus on that area. Most things that the medical community do is to antagonize your body so it starts to repair itself. So I had injections and plasmas and where well, spin plasma and stuff like that. And purely what it is, is it's just to create and trigger your body to heal itself. That's what most things are. That is what most things are. Okay. Most things that the medical community give in regards to operations and um, they've found, which is so interesting that when they've done placebo operations and they've said half of the they said half of the room we operated on the other half there was no difference i think it was a knee surgery constructive knee surgery half of the room had the operations the other half didn't they still opened them up but they didn't do anything and they couldn't tell the difference between the results the people that were operated on were no different to the people that weren't operated on and the people that weren't operated on were never told. And then once they healed and repaired and it was completely back to normal, they told them, we never did anything. We just opened you up. Think about that. The placebo effect is real. It really is real. Why do you think they do double blind studies? Why does every medication go through a nocebo effect, sorry, a placebo effect um, trial? Now, nocebo effects, that was the next thing that I was thinking of. Nocebo effect is a complete opposite. You go to a doctor and a doctor tells you, you've got cancer. And you believe completely. Why wouldn't you? You've had the test done. People have died from this. They've been told they've got cancer and they haven't. And they've died and afterwards they've looked at the medical records and they didn't have cancer. This is a real thing. And this is a lot of things that I have to help people with is the nocebo effect. I had the nocebo effect when I had three specialists in the space of 10 days say to me, nothing can be done. You're going to have a permanent limp and you're going to be in pain for the rest of your life. Really sorry. Here's a number for a good clinical psychologist. Good luck. And I believed it. I had to undo all of that to then be able to access the placebo effect, to be able to then instruct my mind and body to heal itself and repair itself. They're real. They're real things, the placebo and nocebo effect. Your body has an innate ability to heal, but we have so many patterns in our lives and we have so many beliefs and thoughts and so much junk and crap that it's impossible for the body to heal and repair because it's having to completely and utterly fight every day to keep you alive because you're stressing and holding on to things that are not serving you. This is why you're supposed to forgive people for the things that they've done, not for them, for you. Because if you're holding on to hatred and resentment and anger, you're holding on to it. It's not affecting them in any kind of way. It's affecting you. It's not affecting them at all. It's affecting you. They don't care. They're not even aware. They're getting on with their life and they've probably got the program and I'm too busy to do everything. So they're too busy to even care what you're thinking or even know what you're thinking. The only person that you're damaging is you. You're holding on to that anger. Anger wreaks havoc in the body if you don't channel it out this is what this does meditation helps you to see what's going on tapping helps you to get it out knowing how your mind works and understanding the ego and how to deconstruct the ego and find and rewire the patterns that are working and not working for you to the best of your ability Speaking and communicating with your body and understand what's going on and why it's doing what it's doing and what does it need help with. That is how you work smart. Working hard is doing the same thing over again and expecting different results. You know what that's called? Insanity. 
insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is insanity. But yet we all do it. We all think that someday something will just come on miraculously and heal us and change our life and we'll win the lottery and we won't have to worry about money. It's not true. The only person that can change your life is you and you have to make a decision. You need to take responsibility. So I know that I've been given kind of like a lecture here today, but it's because I bloody care. I care about the truth. I care that people know that they can, no matter how bad your situation is, you can get out of it. You can get out of it, but you have to take responsibility and know that you can. I hope that this five days has helped you enough to not only hope, but believe that you can. And if you want help knowing, I'm here. I'm here. And I'm offering the next step and and it's okay, there's no judgment whatsoever. If you don't want to take the next step, that's fine. As long as you've got something out of this and you're going to put things in practice. But I want for you to make a promise that if in 12 months time, your life is not where you want it to be, that you reach out and you connect and you come back on these challenges. But if you're ready and you're sat there and you're going, you know what, this is too uncomfortable. I can't do this on my own anymore. Nor do I want to do it on my own anymore. Then I give you my hand and take it because I will not stop to help you the best that I can in the time that we have. And I price my products so it's accessible for everybody. I have a program which is normally $499 and it's three weeks online and four weeks in a group environment, very intimate and the deep calls and I help you and you come with questions or you listen to other people. But this has transformed people's lives just in seven weeks. They have seen things that they have never seen before. They've healed things that they didn't think was possible. And I'm going to give it away for $247 and that's Australian, not even US dollars. So I think in US dollars, it's like $160. I charge more than that for one hour session and I'm giving you seven weeks, three weeks online and four weeks where we meet up on Zoom every week. And I will help you my absolute best. And for those of you who are on here who've worked with me, please just drop into the chat and let people know that working with me will change their life. Because you know what? I get it. I get it. There's a lot of people out there who have promised the earth to you and given you nothing and made you feel that it's your fault and made you feel that you're the one who's not taking the right steps. You're to blame. People play on self-worth. People play that you will blame yourself and not them. But if you're teaching people how to heal themselves, so you're teaching people how to be better in life, then it's a teacher's responsibility to help you the best they can in the time that you've got. But you have to show up for yourself. And just one more thing. When you don't make a decision and you think, I can't make a decision and you're sitting on the fence, can I just say that you're making a decision to do nothing? You might not think you're making a decision, but making a decision to do nothing is a decision. So if you're sitting on the fence, I want you to ask yourself, will you be happy in 12 months time if you're in the same situation? I've worked with thousands of people and I know that generally the answer is, it's probably gonna be worse. Because if you're not thriving, you're surviving and you can only survive for so long before you start dying. I've lived and breathed it. I'm walking, living evidence of it. That if you don't work on what is sabotaging your body from healing and you're not able to access the innate healing, you will start to decline in health. But you know what? It doesn't have to be that way, I promise you. It doesn't have to be that way. Thank you, Marianne. Yeah. Me and Marianne have worked together and the results that Marianne has achieved is mind blowing because she took responsibility and she took action. There's plenty of people on here who 
work have worked with me and they know so it'd be lovely if you could put some more comments in there and i'm not doing this to sell i don't need to sell my programs to you i know that what i do works i don't need to do big sales strategies and big facebook ads because i know what i do works i have nothing to hide i don't need to do a big sales pitch so when you're ready there'll be some links if you want to work with me that's fine if not come and join the freedom from pain community at least get involved where you're in an environment where people are like-minded and they want to learn how to heal there'll be blogs tips and tricks these videos will be available in there all sorts of things will be in there so join the freedom from pain community i'll drop the link be part of the movement for the truth let's change the world let's change how people perceive and see how we're supposed to heal ourselves it's your responsibility let me show you how to take responsibility let me guide you and show you so meditation let's end this beautiful time together with a meditation so i'm going to do a guided meditation just for those of you who like it let me have a drink because my throat's a bit dry i want you for you to close your eyes and just close your eyes and just feel into your body and just feeling into your body just follow a sensation that you're feeling in your body it's just a sensation you may think it's pain but i want for you to just change that for now and it's a sensation find that sensation within you find where it's located is it in your shoulder is it in your head your neck your jaw your chest your stomach wherever that sensation is for you find that sensation and i want you to just focus on the sensation and just allow it to be there with no judgment just focusing on the sensation and just feeling into the sensation allowing it to be there with no judgment just focusing on the sensation and just allowing it to be there with no judgment and just notice is there a color is there a color that you can see there does that sensation have a color maybe a shape is there a shape there? Are you seeing a shape? Can you see a texture? Is there a texture there? Is it fluffy? Is it jagged? Is it smooth? Just notice if there's a texture there and allowing it to be there. And just noticing. Just be curious of that sensation and just feel into the sensation. And just watch it, observe with no judgment. And just breathe into the sensation, allowing it to be there. And just noticing if anything's changing, is it moving? Has the colour changed? Has it changed shape, size, or has the texture changed? And just see if it's moved slightly to a different part. And just follow it and allow it to be there. It's just a sensation. That's all. No need to judge it. Just allowing the sensation to be there with no judgment. And breathing into the sensation. And just allowing it to be there. And just focusing on the sensation. And just breathing into it. And just seeing, has it changed? Has anything happened? Yeah. Just watching and observing. It's okay. It's just the sensation. And just breathe through the sensation. 
and allowing it to be there. Yeah, that's okay. Just allowing it to be there. And just focusing if it's moving. allowing it to be there. Has it changed shape, size, colour? Has it moved? And just breathing into the sensation. Deep breaths. Now open your eyes. Energy becomes trapped in our body. And sometimes pain is just energy. That's all. It's a sensation. It's not scary. It's not harmful. And if you sit with the sensation long enough, it will change. It will move. And sometimes it will go. But if you have resistance and judgment and you're trying to push it out, that creates more fear in the body, which grips and holds that energy and keeps it in place. If you simply do that technique, on your own and just allow the sensations to be there you can actually get rid of your own pain it's not that difficult you just need to allow your body to do what it naturally can do and it just sometimes needs you to witness it needs you to see that there's something there it needs you to know that there's a color there it needs you to know that there's a shape a texture and that it's moving and it's in more than one place. Sometimes it just wants you to witness it. We all want to be witnessed. So does your body. It does an amazing job. It does its absolute best by you every single day. Now do your best by your body and look after it, care for it, love it, spend time with it. It will change your life promise so thank you so much everybody for joining and please know that you don't have to be alone in this okay you really don't it's been an absolute pleasure serving you for these last five days i hope you got a lot out of it and please help me to share this information the more people that know about this the more that i can give Okay, we can't keep information like this a secret. We need to get it out there. Okay, so share the freedom from pain community, drop a testimonial. Share this information. And if you want to, um, if you don't want to join the Freedom From Pain community, what you can do is just drop me a message with your email address and we'll let you know if there's any more challenges coming up. I've got a couple of more in mind for this year. But don't wait. Okay. Don't wait. You only get to live your life once. You really do. You get to live this life once. You don't want to live a life of misery and pain and suffering or even just be uncomfortable. We're meant to enjoy our lives. We're meant to be happy. Okay? So you have yourself a beautiful day. Have an amazing day. And I hope that you'll come and join me. I really do. I hope that you come and join me. I'm here for you. Take care. Bye, everybody.